Hello, I'm David Pengelly, and I'm going to perform for you something called the belt trick. So I begin with this nice uh, leather belt, and I'm going to hold it uh, flat in front of me. And I'm going to do the belt trick once through pretty quickly, and then go through it and discuss it with you more as we go. So the belt trick, in the belt trick, the two ends of the belt stay in the same orientation the entire time during the trick. And that will be illustrated partly by me holding the ends of the belt as my hands are now with my knuckles pointing towards you but going from side to side. Now to prepare for the belt trick, uh, before the trick begins I'm going to put two full twists in the belt. So I'm going to take one end of the belt and I'm going to turn it um, halfway around, one full turn, another half, and two full turns all the way around. So the belt now has two full turns in it and I'm going to make those two full turns completely disappear. Uh, remember that the rules of the belt trick are that the ends of the belt are going to remain in this orientation the whole time. So if my hands are grabbing the end of the belt firmly, my hands will remain the entire time with the knuckles pointing towards you and from side to side. I will not turn or twist my hands in any way. So here goes with the belt trick. I'll do it once through without comment and then we'll discuss it a second time through. There, you can see that the twists in the belt have completely disappeared. And during the entire trick, I never um, turned my hands in any way. I never turned them like this, I never turned them like that, I never rotated my hands at all. And the two full turns completely went away. Now let's do it again, but discussing a little more what is and isn't happening here. I would like to point out that all that's important is, what's, is what the belt is doing. It's not important what my arms are doing. My arms and my hands are in fact just there to control the belt, to determine what the belt does. And you notice that every part of the belt is allowed to move around in space, but what the ends aren't allowed to do is twist and turn in any way. So let's begin again. I'll put the two full turns in the belt, which we do before the trick starts. And now the trick is to make these two full turns go away. So I'm, going, I'm allowed to move my hands around in space. If the belt could pass through itself, this would be easier than it actually is. But here we go. And now I would like, having moved my hands around a bit, I would like to keep moving my hands apart. But you can see that the belt is now caught a bit on my right forearm. And so I need the belt to pass through my right for forearm. Now remember, my arms and hands aren't actually part of the trick, so you should think that my arms aren't really there in terms of the mathematics of the trick, but of course in practice they are there and I can't really pass the belt through my arm, so what I have to do is momentarily move my arm out of the way and put it back on the other side of the belt so that I can re-grab the end of the belt. So I have to let go of this end of the belt, but I don't plan for the end of the belt to uh, move in space at all, so I'm going to temporarily grab the end of the belt with some fingers of my other hand just so that just so that that end of the belt won't move at all. You see, the end of the belt is not moving at all, and now I'm having brought my arm around um, part of the belt, I'm re-grabbing the end of the belt. The belt didn't move at all while I moved my arm out of the way and then back in, and now as I pull it apart, you can see that as before, the two full turns in the belt are completely gone. So that is the belt trick.